Welcome back. I'm your host, Darnell Jackson. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use Dial E to create awesome YouTube thumbnails for your business. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and share this video with your good friends. I'm going to jump over to make sure you check out the videos in the playlist how to use chat gpt for business and make sure you check that out i'm going to jump over to chat gpt because i'm using even though this is about dial e we're using chat gpt to create the prompts okay so now we're talking about a youtube thumbnail so let's first ask chat gpt what types of you thumbnails should I generate for my food truck? Can it help me? Here are a few ideas for YouTube thumbnails. Okay. It's giving me the information in the discussion format before I even come up with the image itself. So it says a photograph of a particularly attractive or popular dish served by the food truck, such as a sandwich or a bowl of soup, an image of the food truck itself, either parked at a location or in action on the road, a photograph of a satisfied customer enjoying a meal, an image featuring the logo, a photograph of the chef or an owner of the food truck with the caption. Now, let's go off of, okay, Okay, let me give it, it doesn't remember my food truck. It doesn't remember who and what my food truck is named. So I'm gonna go to my notes over here and I'm going to just tell it what I have going on so that it will remember the name of my food truck and the name of our specialty dish. Check out the previous videos in the playlist so you can understand why I'm using the same prompt. I'm talking about a food truck. So now, I'm going to ask it the question again. Now that it knows I'm dealing with my food truck, I'm going to now say, now that you know the name of my food truck, what types of thumbnails should I generate? Okay. So now it's going to tell me, but it's going to customize it for my food truck's name. Actually, it's going to go into an error first. Let's see if we can generate a response. Okay, it, 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 it's it's not happy right now. I'm going to refresh. See if we can generate. Okay, or wait one minute. I didn't wait one minute. So let's see what's happening. We got a little bit of jam here. What types of YouTube thumbnails should I generate for my food truck? Okay. So, okay. All right, we gave it a second. Here are a few more ideas. Photograph of the food truck's menu board. Let's see, is it just an image featuring a quote or testimonial from a satisfied customer? A photograph of the food truck in action. Image of the food truck's kitchen prep, an image featuring selections of ingredients. Okay. That is one less key on. Okay, so let's say, all right, so I'm gonna say, can you create, can you generate a prompt for Dow E to create an image featuring, uh, let's say garlic, which is an important ingredient in the garlic cheese fries, right? Featuring a selection of ingredients, featuring garlic, cheese, and potatoes, right? Because those are the ingredients for the garlic cheese fries, which is the special for this food truck, right? I want to I wanna teach this, but use a good example, all right? All right, so there, ChatGPT has our request 
and it's generating a prompt for Dal E. So it says, create an image of a tray of savory garlic cheese potatoes topped with melted cheese and a generous helping of garlic. Okay, now it's giving details. Let's scroll down here. All right, copy that. Now we'll read the prompt for Dow E while it's working, okay? We'll read the prompt while it's working, okay? So it's working over there. So let's check out the prompt. It says, generate an image of a tray of savory, savory garlic cheese potatoes topped with melted cheese and a generous helping of garlic. The potatoes should be sliced and baked and the tray should be presented in an attractive manner, possibly with additional garnishes or seasonings. The image should convey a sense of indulgence and flavor. Now you can see how detailed it wrote that prompt. You would probably have just typed in, make an image about garlic, and it wouldn't have given you the same results. Let's see what Dali made for us, our other favorite robot. Boom! Now I know this, this video may have not been that succinct, However, I hope it was worth the wait. Now, this isn't exactly garlic fries, but still, I want you to see the rich, beautiful images that you can generate using this incredible technology. And then, of course, you can go in and tweak the text to get a little bit more detailed results that you may want. All right. I have to tell you. This looks delicious. I don't eat cheese and it still looks delicious. Post in the comments if you're getting hungry from this particular video. Now, if I wanted to change and I could go in here and I can click on variations and it'll make me some variations of that particular, um, that type. Let's see what it gives me here. This is the future. We are on a whole nother level. We've never been able to do this as a people. And so there you go. Now you got some different types of styles and maybe you can make a couple different types of videos without using the exact same image. All right. So make sure you subscribe at howwhy.ai. It's all about how to grow your business with artificial intelligence. When you subscribe, you get all the tips and hacks that I'm putting together and you'll get the free reports 12 businesses to start with AI today and 31 AI apps to use in your business now. You'll also get my email address. So you got questions, you can send me questions and I will be there to help you. All right, make sure you check out all of the previous videos in the playlist. And until the next time, I'm Darnell Jackson. Peace.